This week's top InfoSec stories include Hide and Seek Botnet Discovered, Bell Canada Breached, a possible Finn Fisher crack, and Google Chrome Patches. This is Hacker Weekly for Friday, January 26, 2018, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. It appears that Bitdefender researchers have discovered a new botnet made up of compromised IoT devices. This is now dubbed Hide and Seek, or HNS, and it's using custom built peer to peer communication in order to exploit victims and build its infrastructure. HNS also embeds commands such as data exfiltration, code execution, and interference with a device's operation. Bitdefender senior e-threat analyst Bogdan Botzatu stated it also shows that botmasters are looking at changing the consecrated business model of IoT botnets, moving them away from DDoS and into cyber espionage. In other news, Canadian telecommunications company Bell Canada has been the latest victim of a data breach. The company recently informed customers that their names, email addresses, phone numbers, and usernames had been accessed by malicious actors. In response to this incident, Bell implemented additional authentication requirements in order to access accounts. Executive Vice President of Customer Experience at Bell Canada, John Watson, stated, The protection of consumer and corporate information is of primary importance to Bell. We work closely with the RCMP and other law enforcement agencies, government bodies, and the broader technology industry to combat the growth of cybercrimes. The company also advised users to change their passwords often and regularly review their online accounts for unauthorized activity. And senior security researchers at ESET are confident that the infamous Finn Fisher spyware can finally be cracked. Finn Fisher is used mainly in surveillance campaigns and sold to oppressive governments against political opposition. The researchers wrote that Finn Fisher's creators used a certain anti-disassembly trick, hiding an execution flow by replacing one unconditional jump with two complementary jumps, which targeted the same location. Although this technique has been used before, Finn Fisher uses this trick after every single instruction, creating a maze that's almost impossible to analyze. However, researchers managed to isolate each conditional jump and separately analyze them. Once the anti-disassembly trick has been dealt with, they move on to analyzing the virtual machine, bringing them closer to the actual payload. And lastly, Google has sent out patches for its Chrome browser on Windows, Linux, and Mac desktop machines. The update includes fixes for 53 bugs as well as three high-level vulnerabilities. The patch was issued on January 24th and additionally includes protections against side-channel attack techniques that exploit the CPU vulnerabilities known as Spectre and Meltdown. Well, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Weekly. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.